So we're coming into Chicago, um, fairly confident about how we'll do, hopefully not overconfident, but um, we've had the chance to play a couple of local events, two NEXLs and two NEPLs. We took first place in all four of those, and you know, that's that's nice, uh, that's really more of a, of a practice and practicing the, the tournament atmosphere than it is anything else, um, but it's good to win, it was good way to work out some of the kinks and how things uh, how things should work in the pit. So coming into Chicago, we have the roster that we picked, we have coaching, we've had time to prepare, we've had a couple times to get out in the field and um, and see how things are going to go and see how things are going to work. We've had some time for you know, natural roles to develop on the team. Uh, Tom Buckley is sort of becoming a, a de facto captain. Uh, we're getting a lot of sort of veteran leadership from Tom and from Tom, Thomas Pantoni. Uh, Matt Derula, uh, younger guys are really firing on all cylinders, and uh, you know I think we're we're answering the question of who we are and, and who we're going to be as a team. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we do, and you know that's it. Guess guess we see what ends up happening. I mean, let's just let's just you know tonight it's get some good sleep. Let's wake up tomorrow. Let's have some fun going out there winning the fucking tournament. Get it done. Yeah, let's, do it. Let's, do it. Let's, let's go, Mike. Let's, let's go, motherfuckers. All right, oh, right. Sheridan's still coming. Uh, yeah. He's right here. All right, all right. All right. Let's go, motherfuckers. Places? Smart paintball. This is what we came here to do. We always fucking get ourselves into these fucking holes. This is New England fucking Hurricanes paintball right now. We dig ourselves out of this with fucking heart and our head. We play with fucking smart paintball all fucking day. Let's go. Okay, come on, get up. Let's go. Get up, boys. Things did not get off to a good start. After the first few games, they realized things were not going as planned. Go, it's on you. Okay. We had a back line. We weren't going to lose the point. Trust your coaches. Okay. All right. Right now, I've been currently coaching since the winter. I uh, messed up my shoulder. I had to get surgery on it, so I've been doing that. Hopefully, be back after this event. But um. And I've just been coaching Snake side this event, trying to help my guys out the best I can. Going into this tournament, we had a lot of new guys on our team, a lot of people who haven't even played a national event before. So coming in, um, we didn't really have that high hopes in them, but we kind of hope for the best. Um, had some issues today. It was a tough one. Came out against X Factor first game. Uh, it was good. We ended up going into overtime with them after tying it up. Got a few major penalties that completely killed our, our uh, momentum, including in the overtime. So. I lost it there. Um, we got a brand new roster too. Um, it's a totally different team. We only have two old guys from the old Hurricanes and we have two other people who are from the squad who just practiced with them all last season. So I mean we don't have that much experience but I think we're going to look real strong this season. I mean it's only the first event that we've ever played as a team. Second point, uh, second match, came out against TKO, one of the better teams here. Grinded out against them again, ended up winning 4-3. Um, it was nice to see the team actually gelling there in the last game. It was a little too late at this point because we were already out. But, um, you know, it's nice to see right at the end, ended on 
more positive note than the rest of the tournament we've been going, so that was good to see. And we had a really slow start. Um, I mean, we lost 0-5 the first match. We didn't have anything together. We were losing points that we should have won, getting penalties. And the second match, we came out real strong, 5-2. Third match, lost in overtime to X-Factor. They, they self-played us pretty much. We were playing sloppy. We lost a lot of two-on-ones, games that we really should have had. We just need to get back to it, start drilling, practicing those two-on-ones, three-on-ones, whatever it takes to close the games, because that was definitely our weakness. That's about. but in the end it would prove to be too little too late they had no chance of making it into the finals Like I'm trying to yell at Benny, oh, but they're fucking just going, ah, oh, in the pit. He's like, ah, I can't hear fucking Let's shit. Go! In hindsight, it was obviously arrogant to come in here expecting to to make a big statement. We clearly have a lot to work on. After getting over the shock of the loss, the team decided to meet that night at the hotel to go over the event. We're going to go over the event and we're going to talk about some team shit. Does anybody want to throw anything out there for logistics first? Oh, yeah. Yo, Jeff, you, yo. <laughs> you, you actually, you coach, but you don't swear. Oh, it's, it's, shit. It, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like you, it's like you can flip, it's like you flip a switch. Where's the big bag of them? We gave him the light. But Jeff, all you, yeah, we, all, all you really do is tell, we all telling have a really loud voice, and you're know, like, you, you call the right calls, but you just swear at, during occasionally, <laughs> like like sometimes. Often, a lot. Uh, listen. I wish I was. I wish I could tell you. Give it. 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 Give it was a little bit more muddy. We were still getting our shots break because they were staying so many people in the back center. We didn't really like walk the field that much because we kind of got rushed in the pl to playing that match. So after after that match, we started we switched our plan to shoot that. Like they kept the guy in the pins. So we, we we switched our plan to shoot the guy in the pins. But before that, they were just mowing us down from that pin shot. So it kind of didn't really work out very well for us. Uh, came into the event with uh, what turned out to be unrealistic expectations. We um, we thought that we we thought we were coming here with the team that, that would be playing on Sunday, top four team, and uh, obviously things didn't go that way. And while that's disappointing, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You need to know where you are. You need to know what you have to work on. And this event really opened our eyes. It was, um, it was a catharsis that way showed us all the things we're doing wrong, all the things that we need to change, and we come out of this event with a checklist. These are the, the 20 things we need to do differently. And we'll know within two to three weeks which players are going to be on board with that, which players aren't. So hopefully everybody's on board, because anybody who's not is not going to be able to make it. 
Uh, it sucks that we're not playing on Sunday. It sucks that we didn't come in and really show our potential. But it's a positive thing that we had an opportunity to learn a lot about where we are today and what we need to do. Without this happening here, if we if we got that one extra point against X Factor and we played on Sunday, we might have come out of this event not realizing how many bad habits we had back home. By losing, you're forced to reevaluate everything you're doing, and you're forced to really look at the things that you could be improving on. So in that sense, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. The goal has never been to win D1. So if this gets us closer to being the team we want to be in two years, then it's a positive experience. Ha, 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 ha.